And the PSG team looks like this. Gianluigi Buffon begins in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Marco Verratti starts alongside Adria Rabio in the centre of the park. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. It has hosted so many big-time finals, this Pat de Pras including 1998, the UEFA Cup final, when Inter beat Lazio. Yeah, I remember that. I also remember playing here against PSG. I remember the pitch not being great back then, but looks very special now. And this is how Liverpool start the game. And you tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team. High pressing. Well, high pressing, high energy. I played this system at Arsenal many a year under George Graham. It doesn't half work when it works well. Sometimes you can just get exposed to the back, but they've got it down to a tee, to be fair. Aimed towards Mbappe. It lacked conviction, that clearance. And maybe an opportunity for the opposition. On the back, a really sumptuous ball. The end product just wasn't there. Oh, he's through here. Only the keeper to beat. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. Well, a bit more analysis as regards the goal. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Henderson, Navi Keita, cross towards Mane, far post here, splendid save from the keeper, danger averted. Yeah, he didn't have long to react to that, but you have to praise his reflexes there. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Here's Mbappe. Running towards goal, one man to beat. And it's a goal for Paris Saint-Germain to square this game. Well, just look at this, they all back off him and he takes the advantage. He goes through one, two, three. In the end, it's a wonderful solo goal. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Virgil van Dijk. Henderson. Carrying a genuine threat here. Salah. Can they take the lead? And a goal! Well, let's see that again. Oh, it's so sweetly hit. Look at his technique. Absolutely brilliant. He's got the power, he's got the accuracy, and now he's got himself a goal. Is he going to punish them here? Safe pair of hands, did his job. It's a highly promising Liverpool attack, but will there be an... Sadio Mane pulls it back, and he's found the net, Roberto Firmino. Well, here's the replay. You've got to ask questions about the back line and the goalkeeper. They're simply not there. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. It's with Fabinho. And on the second half, the side. And Mohamed Salah now. Will there be a tangible end product? Can he put it away? He still has the goalkeeping magic, Gigi Buffon. And this time, it's in.
Well, as we see, there'll be an inquest between keeper and defenders. He'll be saying, where were you? And they'll be saying, why didn't you catch it? A chance to revisit the goal. Braxler now. Here's Mbappe. Cavani running with the ball confidently. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. And a PSG corner. And so that is going to be that. The final whistle here. And they're in a pretty comfortable position because not only have they booked a place in the knockout stages, it's still very much on for them to finish top of the group league. Yeah, absolutely. Going through takes the pressure off a little bit. But the big teams, the good teams, the good players press on and finish top.